Episode 2 of Simba NYC TV show out of Brooklyn, New York. I'm Shelly S, your host, and before we get started, just a reminder subscribe. Go to YouTube, touch the subscribe and the bell icon, and it is done. We are still in Jamaica, and today my guest will be reggae artist Firekin. So we are going to begin today's show with the video Temple by Mr. Leegee. And after the video, we will meet artist Firekin and follow after the interview will be Book Talk, Health Corner, and the Melodrama Get Straight. Stay close. I'll be right back. Tell them pure and clean is the perfect example My body is my temple That's why I stay humble My body is my temple It my vegetable Tell them that the is a perfect example uh -huh. The trees for the healing of the nation And we don't want no imitation Real food, that's our medication your vegetation from the plantation Green herb for a higher meditation Babylon sell you them poison Then them sell you prescription No, that's not the solution When you're eating, you better take caution My body is my temple That's why I stay humble My body is my temple It be vegetable Tell them to run clean It's the perfect example My body is my temple that's why I stay humble My body is my temple It be vegetable Tell them that the far I set a perfect example uh -huh. I don't want no soda I don't want your cigarette I don't want no junk food I don't want no corn chip I don't want your hot dog I mean nothing processed Good food from the earth That I can digest Oh yes, give me the best I don't want nothing less Oh yes, give me a body with no disease Yeah, rest Oh yes, poor people's time we get conscious But life is the real focus My body is my temple that's why I stay humble My body is my temple It be vegetable Tell them pure and clean is the perfect example My body is my temple That's why I stay humble My body is my temple It be vegetable Tell them not how far I set a perfect example Every morning when I rise I give thanks and praise to Jah Oh yeah For giving life Food, clothing and shelter. Yeah, I read a chapter a day to keep the devil away. And every morning I kneel and I pray, giving thanks to see another day. Oh yeah, my body is my temple. That's why I stay humble. 
temple, my body is my temple. It be vegetable. Tell them Rastafari is a perfect example. My body is my temple. Made in Brooklyn, New York City. Taste the pepper sauce, make everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. For all inquiries, please contact 646-657-4277 or email at Elaine's Tasty Pepper Sauce at gmail.com. Hi, my name is Leroy Griffith Jr., also known as Mr. Leji the Artist. I want to say thanks on behalf of A Time to Give Back to Africa to all who donated in 2018. From your donations, we were able to fill so many barrels, and now we need your help to ship these barrels to Africa. So please donate. A Time to Give Back to Africa is a non-profit organization, 501c3. That means that your donations are tax deductible. We believe that transparency is key. So check out our website, www.ttgbta.com where you will see the actual giving of our donations each and every time to the people in Africa. You can contact us via our website or by these phone numbers. Please get involved. We need your help. We can make a difference together. Firekin, aka Nile Banks, welcome to Simba NYC TV show. Give thanks, thank you for having me. Huh? I want you now to introduce yourself to my Simba NYC TV viewers. Well, I go by the name of Firekin, aka Nile Banks, a reggae singer, songwriter, producer, you know, graphic designer. Tell us how you got started in the music business. I got started at a tender age. Well, I started writing at first. I was about nine years of age. You know, by being around my older brother. But the whole household it was a musical household. Everybody, mm -hmm. you know, who is not a lover of um, R&B songs was a lover of the old school music, you know, the old school reggae. You know, some of the hip hop and the, you know what I mean. So, I grew up in a in a household with, with a vast, you know, mm -hmm. a wide like variety of music to to be listened to every day. Plus, mm -hmm. my elder brother, he was also a singer, songwriter, producer himself, mm -hmm. uh, new art, you know, myself, everyone, you don't know. Mm -hmm. um, he was he was the one who I really got first hand experience with. My very first time, you know what I said? Because he, he, he was the one who was writing, singing, and you know, performing his lyrics in front of me and doing the crazy hairstyles and image and all of them something. So I used to like that, I admire that. So being around him, he was rapping, singing, you know, he was very versatile like that. Mm -hmm. So after a while, he saw that I liked it. Then he started showing me one or two things like, yeah. This is how you write a song. This is how you, you know. Mm -hmm. And from nine years of age, I have been rewriting like popular dance or reggae music, or you know what I said. Yeah. In school, I'm trying to flip it, like you know. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Until, yeah, until in high school, I started writing like some, like mm -hmm. you know, some hardcore style of music and kind of thing. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I really, yeah, that's how I really started out in music. Nine years of age in a place called Kesha Park, you know? Yeah. I read an interesting article, and it said that um, you were given advice by I. Wayne, and, you, and from your words, it has helped to keep you on a righteous path musically. Um, can you share with yeah. us what was said to you and how it has impacted on your music? Yeah, man, so I got people from over there, but as we say, in high school, we start writing some hard for, 
you know, dance hall and, and, and culture music as well, but was more on the hardcore side, you know? Mm -hmm. And at about 14, you know, I, I moved to Portmore, that's where I went, you know, we actually was neighbors, you see me? Mm -hmm. So we were all young and upcoming, because I was young, very young at least. Mm -hmm. I even was, was a young and upcoming artist at the time too. But because we were in the same community, we were always freestyle together, and, you know? Mm -hmm. We hung out and we write music and stuff. So I let him hear some of my music that because it was the very first time I think he was hearing like my songs on a CD. I always used to vibe and thing and read them, but mm -hmm. it kind of shy. So we never show up, show up too much of my talent or whatever, but yes. when I made my first CD, we played for IMB and no one. It was, you know, because I was in high school still, around 14, you see what I said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, IMB was, was probably like a year or two after that IMB blew up, you see what I said? So all of this was happening before all the film and all of that, you yes. see mm. So yeah, because in high school, I remember telling my friends, them, and, you know, my high school, um, School means that yo, I know I win, I know Egyptian, I know Basque, like, and, you know, yes. Basque, and all these artists, and here, here comes two years later, a year later, everybody becomes, you know, some giant in the, in the industry. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's how I met I win, and when I played my first CD for him, my first demo CD, you know, he heard all the hardcore dance songs, and he was like, yo, Mara, you're tough, you know, but you know, keep it clean, keep mm -hmm. it roots, you know, mm -hmm. keep it cultural and thing. And ever since then, you know, I also played it for my mother too. Like, <laughs> my mother heard it and she was like, take that out of my radio. <laughs> no way. <laughs> she said, what kind of songs are those you singing? You think your little sister can listen to that? And, you know, mm -hmm. I was like, wow. Alright, so I win a woman and then Kiara. So, I, you know, we just go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. while, while in that process, I met up with Fifth Element Records. Yeah. Which is Richie Spice, them Chuck Fender, them, you know, yes. them, them whole team, Anthony Cruz, them, the whole of them. And that's when I really started, like, recording and, and, and like, official productions. Mm -hmm. You know, like I recorded on one and two productions before that, but maybe like three songs or two songs to be honest. It wasn't mm -hmm. that long, but it was, it was mostly demos I was doing before that, you know, and performing. Mm -hmm. So when I met up with Fifth Element, we started with some official recording, and the first thing they asked me when I pull up with Fifth Element, they say, Yo, what kind of song you do? I say, Yo, we do every music, man. Dance, all, culture, reggae, everything. <laughs> yeah. you know? It's like, no, we do the reggae over here, so you know. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, all right, all right, we can do reggae too, man. But at the time, to be honest, I was mostly writing to dance all rhythms. Yes. You know, I was mostly inspired by mm -hmm. the dance all mm -hmm. scene because I was also a little dancer in high school, too. You know what I said? Mm -hmm. So. When they said that to me, it was a challenge, but I wasn't scared to take it up. I, I was ready, you know, mm -hmm. and I started writing, and my first couple of songs, they did all right, <laughs> but then they were so bad, bad, you know what I said? <laughs> because I guess I was learning and, you know, yes, growing yes. through the process, mm -hmm. and the first couple of songs, they would hear it, and they would say, oh, you have lyrics, you know, you write bad, and your style bad, you just need little more strength in your voice and you know that's when I really like if element was my college mm -hmm. in music yes. you know like that's when I went to like like the beach every morning you know got them set up one program where six o'clock every morning I was supposed to up on the beach at the time I was there you see what I said so I hear some history you now mm -hmm. at the time I'm fire king was 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 birthed the same day, year, and everything in reggae music. Mm -hmm. You know what I said? Mm -hmm. The same day when my name when when they get the name Fire King, Etana get the name Etana. 
Because it thought I was also in the group. Yes. You mm. see me? So, we're here in history you now, you know. When it thought I come from Florida, you know. She mm. named uh, Shana, she named me. <laughs> you see me? And you, you know, know what? You can't tell her I'm a sister like that, man. Yeah. You know what, and, and what I'm looking at, that, that whole journey that you described, that whole journey has yeah. evolved into sweet music. Yeah. Yes. Sweet music. Sweet I music. Sweet music yeah. So tell us about the song, Sweet Music, and the inspiration behind that song. Well, you know, it's just, you know, we are playing with words and we are playing with, you know, Poetry and you know, we're playing with a whole heap of different things where right? make yeah. music interesting, you know, whole heap of elements actually. And we, you know, in comparison with, with you know, a person and, and you know, music to be honest, it's just, it's just honestly, I don't even know how to explain it. I was, I'm always a person that's experimenting with everything, whether it's the beats, the lyrics, or you know, what I'm saying, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and I'm trying to, I'm always trying to write something different. From what you know to people, mm -hmm. um, what I can hear, so music was really inspired by you know by the love of of you know music and, and you know a relationship type of uh, you know vibe and you just combine both together and compare each other. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the universe inspired really. <laughs> Sometimes I say some things when I really know, man. <laughs> I don't know where I'm far from, you know, a real dog, you know. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check out the video, Sweet Music by Fivekin, also known as Niles Blacks. Check this out, and we'll be right back.
you know what? I just, I honestly, I love the song, love the video, I love the whole vibe. I mean, who doesn't love seeing love? It's, it's cool. It's yes, cool. Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we're seeing now is reggae being fused with hip hop, R and B, Latin, as in your song, uh, Saucy Perillo, and all yeah. other musical styles. A and my question to you is, do you think that those kind of fusions um, will cause reggae to lose its identity? Well, if that's the, 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 the portion you're feeding them, you know. But to be honest, I don't think it can kill it. No, reggae won't die, to be honest. Reggae is... Mm -hmm. That, that is already a foundation that cannot be moved. You know, once you once you start replicating something, you know it's a legend. You know what I said? Mm -hmm. it's, you can't do nothing else to die. Like mm -hmm. the only thing you could do is probably get bigger and bigger. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you're sampling sounds of a genre that is, you know, it's a golden genre to be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a golden child. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In music. That came up out of the rough, so you can't move it. But fusing um, sounds and you know the fuse, I think it is good. You know, I think it is nice to experiment. That's what I tell you. I like experiment to myself mm -hmm. about new sounds and whatever. But me not leave the roots. You see me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as long as me and the music, you still go have some real reggae music I release. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You might hear a little. Flavor here that sound R and B soulish or jazzish over here because I'm doing music, you know what yes. I'm saying? Yeah, true that. I'm doing music. I'm I'm not trying to stay in any one box or one genre mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to spread more and show my talent because I'm very talented. And, yeah. You know, if you know, if you know, put that to the people and then you know what I mean they're gonna still have me one box. Mm -hmm. So it's time to really not show them the talent. And that's what we do. Reggae now move, reggae now go nowhere, where, 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 it's a good deal, it can't then. No time at all, like, you know, you have some other youth that follow up to we love the roots, the real foundation song. You have some other youth who like the style, even the dressing and all of them, something and the talking and... Yes. So that mm -hmm. culture, that culture will always be, you know, mm -hmm. re, re, you know, introduced to new generations and new generations, you know what I mean, yeah. to forward. And you know what, when you talk about you as an artist and just doing different things, um, I think about the song, Heights of Great Men. Um, tell yeah. me about that song and you, what was the inspiration for you to write that song? Well, the inspiration in front of I said a great uh, I a great man now is, is, is really when I look for myself, you know, and see, you know, where we are borrowed from and how tremendously we have grown, you know what I say? Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of my fans them in Jamaica and a lot of places haven't seen me but they're hearing me and you yes. know, they would love to really like tune in to, you know, why a king on a real level, like, you know me I say? Why a king kind of shy and private? And just that are the little thing, you know, but... Mm -hmm. I tell you, I've been really far out now when I look at me on my journey in music, you know? And I realize that, all right, it's like 16, mm -hmm. 17 years, bruh. Mm -hmm. I, I quit high school, like, when I stopped for high school, I went straight into the studio and, 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 at 16. 16 years of age, soccer, we used to play football for one of the, um, the biggest soccer mm -hmm. club in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And I just cut that to everything. We just give up all of that and say, yo, music is what we're doing. And ever since then, I have been on the journey of music. And, you know, one of the funny things is, when we look on the early years in you know, the music, we never have no knowledge of what we do. We just love singing and perform for the people. That's all. Mm -hmm. So that's what we used to do. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis, like, we just want to make sure we perform and sing with the people and feel nice and, you know, 
we never worry about money, we never worry about nothing, we never have a child, we worry about responsibility. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, we was just doing what we love, you yes. know? And when I moved to the States, you know, I realized that, wow, there's a lot more to this thing than, you understand? Mm -hmm. Then all of this, and when I came, you know, what really happened was, you know, I hardly get any beats from the producers, then, like, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, like, out of sight, out of mind. Yes. Yeah, sometimes that's something that happened to, and you might reach out to some of them, some read a message, some don't, um, some don't reply, so, you understand what I'm saying? So, all of them, something that start happening, you know, my head, man, Yes. Oh, yeah. I love music too much because they are now and just, you know, not mm -hmm. doing nothing. So I started doing a lot more researches and, and you know, music production, you know, going your own company and making a beat, like literally everything, mm -hmm. literally yeah. registering, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I found that my one of my biggest songs called You Are My Lady was never, ever officially released. And it is literally like the song that put me out here to the world. Like, you see what I'm mean? saying? Mm -hmm. So it was like an underground song. I mean, I said, no, say so man. So yeah. I started working on an album and, you know, I started revolving myself and, yeah, like a couple years in now, I'm looking at myself, I'm like, yo, you done did like two albums, three or four EPs plus two mixtapes mm -hmm. independently. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. After all of the years of practicing everything and yes. you know what I'm saying? And going through the, the, the sleepless nights and you know, trying to figure things out, getting upset, getting tired and you know what I'm saying? We got through the whole other process then. Mm -hmm. Feeling like giving up too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But when we really look for it now, we find out we come on fire away because now we are master moon things, we are mixed moon songs, we are Yes. Regardless, we are, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We are, we are produce other artists. We are write for other artists. You know what I'm saying? We are, we are shoot videos for other artists. We are doing only for other things too. So we are one great man, boy. And them need to respect me. You see what I'm saying, Empress? Yeah, for I can't know one little you to just I try a thing or whatever. Here's worth I work with put in. I'm putting great music to yes. life. We don't, we don't do mediocre music, you know what I'm mean? saying? Mm -hmm. I always put out some solid music for the masses over the years. So, you know, we just there and we are said to ourselves, you know, you are great, you brother, you don't need nobody to tell all you need to do is reassure them, you know, who you really is, like, That's you know, right. and, and that is what we are doing right now. Mm -hmm. We are reassuring them, so listen to me, we are very talented. Yes. You know, just that like any artist you have out there on the forefront, mm -hmm. you know, Talent and them sitting there. You understand? Yes. Don't take me for no yes. old time. Don't mm. take me for no old time artist too. Mm. <laughs> okay. Now we're full of style. We can give you old school, new school, future mm. school. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Well, well rounded, eclectic. Yes, man. <laughs> yes, man. So yes. that is what we we mm. here to do, and that is how Arts Agreement really mm. came about because you know when 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 I heard the beat. The beat remind me of my very first hit song, mm. Me. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So I'm like, yo, this is so crazy that, you know, that this is the type of beat that they sent to me. And mm. it kind of remind me because now I've got you the whole transition, man. Yes. We have a chapter roads, and you know what I'm saying? I've got you a whole transition, and it feel like a rebirth. So I said, well, mm -hmm. we have to come hard for that beat. Mm -hmm. You see me? And mm -hmm. Producers, which is one time music, big up yourself. They might request a love song just like the very first hit song. Mm -hmm. I mean, I say, Yeah, me can't put love song in a but I want to challenge myself. A love song is easy for me to write, like that is easy. Like, you know, we can sing love song all day. Yes. So I'm saying, I want to write some out of them, you know, ordinary. We don't want them, you know, I expect say, All right, me, I'm going to sing a girl song because of, you know, I'm going to be. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's when I started looking and I was like, yo, you're a great one. You know, I said, great man. I started penning everything down and you know what I said? And I just opened up the session in the studio right here. Yes. Right in the bottom squad, that's it. Mm -hmm. And I 
I'm sure they record it and then we send it to the producers and when we send it to them, we get back a voice note and say, yo, yo, but no, you know the clock, clock, they so you know what? We're gonna check it out. So check out the video Heights of Great Men by Firekin, also known as Niles Blanks. And we'll be right back. It's a fair we get a youth out there and fight the fight, is it? Let's go and push on towards the goal, is it me? Never give up the fight, is it? Charge! Missing my goal and then my gun feet. Chanting a psalm, take on the damn street. Watch the devil a fight, you know my strong feet. Like a rose man, I rise out of the concrete. Watch him a switch up on a jump ship. Now for them, never really from the jump street. Every lesson in life, we give thanks with. After me, not do this in a cross street. Heights of great men, reach and get. Work hard 24 dogs, and even sleep man get. Heights of great men. Me and my goals and my dreams that Swear to God, me have to reach them let Me born alone, tell them keep them friendship going back home Them want to see me dead and me gonna chrome Lyrics of Bill and I create that kind of doom Me not call me not this or a kind of stone Pray on me use and get the enemies who have a throne They put down my crown, they miss it on my throne Brother, we not tear flesh, you can die down bone And they can't get us up in the outer zone one time gone with them, it won the sword They say it's them now, them off with the party's own Why? Fuck up the party's own Yo, change him, I bring a little shot to boom She does say she love the flavor, love half the tone Like coach, she want for float She need a warm up coach, she know the God I go Yeah I'd suffer great man Reach and keep Work hard, 24 days even sleep man get Heights of great man Reach and keep Me have my goals and my dreams dog Swear to God me have to reach them Me have me goals and my dreams if you know me mean I'm on a Hunt for the paper Hunt for the cream I buy a House and he'll move mommy Out of the scheme Just check a meal my want me More with the team and yummy Know me addictive seat there Now I'm a fiend Me have the antidote Me have the vaccine Spit fire that a daily routine Easy one tree like time baby shoestring People all over love to hear the dancing Girl them a scream and I show them G-string Up charge here no a G-ting Tell the fam a grind and a daily man win When a time for collect you better pay the dan king I poop a fire king a top ranking They a saw a rocket from the Nile banking Easy that for dancing Ah it's a great man Work hard 24 days, me even sleep man get I of great man, reach and get Me have my goals and my dreams that Swear to God me have to reach them day You know what? I wasn't expecting um, after you know after hearing a lot of you say that your lyrical flow is is like mad. <laughs> your flow is is tight. I yeah, like it. A, a lyrical, uh, monster, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like musically, musically, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if, if 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 I had the major push. Like a lot of these artists are, you know, that big team or that company behind you, and you would really see what, you know, 
I got going on because to be honest, you know, he's an independent artist, so yes. you know, we have to take time and I do the things the right way. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, if we have a team or a company behind me, it would be easier to get to this spot here and you know, yes. this market, whatever, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. the whole marketing thing would probably mm -hmm. be in, 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 in structure already. Yes. So, you know, we are doing, you know, single handedly, I reach out to one and two people. With, Devote them time here and there, and you see what I said? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, man, yeah, I must say, everything you know, slow progress is better than no progress. Yes, I, <laughs> yeah, I agree. I really want my viewers to follow you. Um, so, what is your social media info? Yeah, my social media info is official Nile Viakin Banks. So, that's official underscore N-Y-L-E underscore F-Y-A-K-I-N underscore Banks. Okay. And that's where you can find me on Instagram. Okay. Facebook, Fyakin, F-Y-A-K-I-N. There's two of them, so I have one for like two of them here. F-Y-A-K-I-N, then the other one is Nile Banks. Mm -hmm. N-Y-L-E-E-N. Yes, on Facebook. Just get tuned in, you know what I mean? We'll be able to Instagram, so you'll we'll get the Instagram one lucky. Mm -hmm. See? So before we wrap this up, I need a little freestyle, a little touch of uh, something for my viewers. Yeah? Yeah, you can touch. <laughs> freestyle. So what the... I la I la reggae party vibe uh, And everybody does a rock and groove you to the roots tonight boy So what the I la I la reggae party vibe uh, I say we rockin' and chicken and skankin' it in original style uh, Well all we give them a just one rock My machine up be dancing a one chop Boom, I keep it skanking on the roots rock. Uh, it put me in the mood and it showed that. Select a spinning till the table, they maroon hat. Get us a drink and I agree that I'm an abundant. Boom, watch granny skanking and she boot back. And she had to wait like the killer full suit black. Mm -hmm. Roots chat. After me step in a arrow bad up party. And everybody look a lively and hearty. You know, I slip up when me light and sparky. In you know, a me clocks and cocky. Mm -hmm. And so me sight up and as a ring shotty. Mm -hmm. And she the place for me get body. Mm -hmm. Lord, why is someone can't find you like a hen? I'm so fun, I'm back in a percent. I'm playing with King of Salafi. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you yeah, so what? much. You know what? It was a pleasure having you. I wish you much success in your career. Much success. Thank you so much. And um, we're going to be following you. Yes, sir. Thanks again. Bless. Yes. You want to hide something from a Negro? Put it in a book. to book talk. Today's book is Concrete Rose by the author Angie Thomas. If there's one thing 17 year old Maverick knows is that a real man takes care of his family. As the son of a former gang legend, he does what is known to him, sell drugs for the gang. With this money, he can help his mom while his dad is in prison. He believes that he has everything under control until he finds out that he's about to become a father. But it's not easy to finish school, be a dad, and sell drugs. So when he's offered a chance to go straight, he takes it. In a world where he is expected to amount to nothing, maybe he can prove he's different. But being in a gang, you just can't walk away. Loyalty, revenge, and responsibility threaten to tear him apart. He has to figure out for himself what it really means to be a man. Thank you for joining me on Book Talk, and I will see you next week. Read. You want to hide something from a Negro? Put it in a book.
Prevention is better than a cure Health Corner Welcome to Health Corner. A good night's sleep is incredibly important for your health. In fact, it's just as important as eating healthy and exercising. Sleep is an essential function that allows your body and mind to recharge. The lack of sleep has been linked to a higher risk for certain diseases and medical conditions. These include obesity, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, stroke, poor mental health, and early death. Most adults require 7 to 9 hours of sleep. People are now sleeping less than they did in the past and sleep quality has decreased as well. Here are two things that you can do to promote healthy sleep. Establish a realistic bedtime and stick to it. Secondly, do a screen ban of all electronic devices in your bedroom. Oh yes, and that includes the cell phone. I know, that's hard. Thank you for joining me in Health Corner and I will see you next week. Get some rest now. Prevention is better than a cure. Health Corner.
So I think I coming up the road next week Wednesday. Next week Wednesday? How can you run back so soon? You run back so soon, bro. You, when you check it out, you probably don't even need this, this, this way to call it call and a skinny scheme or whatever it is it is. Like, you probably don't even need that. You sure you, sure you want to come back, have you? What you talking about, man? You know how long I put it off that? I ain't the plan to put it off again. But since they say no crop over this year, it's better I come up the road and deal with that and get it out of the way. You understand? So I ain't gonna need you to come and pick me up in the airport next Wednesday, at five o'clock in the evening. So Uncle, where am I here? So Uncle, you mean to say you don't book the flight and everything already? What you talking about, man? Of course, you think I'm gonna call you just so? It's not a guessing game. You understand? I need you to come pick me up next week, Wednesday, at five o'clock. It's a Delta flight. I ain't gonna send you a text with all your information for it. And I really hope you have my money, because right now we ain't got no money, you know. I broke in the teeth down here. Every last whole night, could be in one go somewhere. You know that kind of way there? Yeah, I know that kind of way they be talking about, man. You know how it is when you come from America? Everybody want everything. But don't worry about nothing. I got everything here sealed up and put away for you, Uncle Matt. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Alright then, so just make sure you come and get me for 5 o'clock, alright? Yeah man, you got nothing to worry about. Next week Wednesday at 5 o'clock, I will be there. Alright then, so I hope everything alright. I will gonna see you next Wednesday. Yeah, alright uncle, alright, alright. I ain't gonna be there, you got nothing to worry about, I gonna be there. Okay then, right now I hear down my brown speech. I just breathe in a little bit. Watching all these girls and them pass by with these big nice bobbies. Eh? And look at that boxy part she there. Looking good as Ross. So, let me get in here right now so I can piece my eyes a little bit. Anyhow, them nice man. I gonna see you next week, alright? Alright, Uncle. I gonna see you next week. Take care. Okay then. Later. Alright then, later. That's what we have on my rod, so I'm going to put it on there, because right now I need it. I broke in the teeth. Oh, man. Get a nice young girl passing in there, huh? Got some nice bobbies, boy. I rub my face in that. <laughs> All right, boy. Think I old, but I ain't cold. Oh, man, what on the shit? I poke that air. Yeah, soul. What do you mean they, they can't sell the rod so crap over? I take the ride so many to record the tune. And this tune supposed to put me by the mark for this rah so crap over. You talking about the class of crap over? I'm about ain't even doing a raw so virtual. Oh play. It look like I, I gotta work three or four more extra shit for this raw so over to get this my money before Wednesday because go oh, baby the class of the raw so crap over. You could believe that? Oh, play! These damn Knicks, man. Always disappointing a nigga. This Randolph, man. Randolph, whatever the fuck his name is, man. Why you do? This is the playoff, son. You gotta step up, man. The Knicks, I tell you, man. Always doing that to us. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah.
glad they're going out in the prom. They got a little breeze. So I could play my guitar like myself. Yeah. But wait. You know how long it is me to up to the my boy Nicholas? I wonder how it is going on with him in the dung in Philly. Last time he was in Philly. I wonder how it is really going on. Where's the ULC? I'm going to give him a show. How long he talk to him? I'm stick with the Nets or something, man. At least the Nets is doing something.
players out there in the game ain't what they used to be either. If you ask me, a lot of them is soft, man. You know, right now, being a snitch is like, they glorify that shit right now, son. So it's like, for me, you know, I'm just like, I'm picking my battle, so to speak. You feel me? You know, right now, I'm not thinking about anything. I'm not really doing anything, but I ain't gonna lie. Just the other day, you know, I thought about your cuz, man. What's good with that? You know, I figured if, you know, he, he still got that, like how he said, you know, I could probably make something happen. But besides that, you know, I don't know. But what's up with them, though? Bye. Nicholas, but he's my real brethren, but he's a man look out for me and thing when nobody else was looking out for me. Zess, that is my cousin, boy. But I wouldn't really advise it to do nothing with he, boy, because he too zigzag now, boy. And me want to hear no back and I'll see him take place, and then it's because it's my cousin. You are a fool to you. I rather not even, you know, to tell you the truth, boy. You know what I'm saying? I know he's a man who the route and thing, but. You see, my cousin, he always zigzag and up and down and all over the place. He didn't even want to even suggest that now. Oh, alright. Alright. I get you, I got you, I got you. You're good looking out though. Because I know a dude like you, man, you always keep it 100, son. Some real, real tough. No doubt. <laughs> Firekin, one word, versatility. Our artist next week has made me extend my trip in Jamaica. His name is Aaron Silk, and he is the brother of the legendary Garnet Silk. Oh yeah. Please tune in next week. Jai's life, love, and it's all we need. Time for Simba, NYC TV show. Shelly, yes. It's time for Simba. Time for Simba. NYC. NYC. TV show. TV show. It's time for Simba. NYC. TV show. With Shelly, yes. It's time for